myself, uh, I, am I am trying to connect the Kafka with the Weaver. So yeah. can, can, can we just skip the individual components? Okay. I think in these kind of occasions, using the I usually is very much not a good sign. Um, so every time you are updating, representing a group, just don't use I. Just try to use as we and trying to have that, that mentality. So like I want as a group leader as well as a sort of working on a team, everyone to try to make sure saying like, okay, at the group. And then of course, um, if it is like a component, like you can actually present saying, this person was doing that, this person was doing that, and then I was tasked to do that, and therefore, um, with my task, I have done that. That's fine. But just only highlighting um, individuals means you guys don't know each other. You are not working in a team. So I want especially group leaders to update the overall and then call specifically people to update on their part. And you may not, you may not be able to know the entire thing. So you can say, like, I will update mine, but then I will call X, Y, Z to update on this and that. So just just so that we can practice that um, presenting as a group. Okay, it's not a specific to you to mention, just more general. Okay, so 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 in our group we 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 start the recording part. So I mean we we put one audio to the S three packet. We send it, and also the yesterday night we we are working. We was working on the producer and the consumer and to integrate with the airflow as well as the spark thing. And I think uh, I can call Itani for more. Great. Wonderful information. So Itani, can you, if you can also, if you could share your screen while telling us, that would be great. But if you can't, it's okay. Itani, are you able? Yes, hello. Yes, yeah, hi. Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, as as Mitch said, uh, we are able to, I mean, to 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 to, to connect the 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 the, the Kafka from the AWS to the front 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 end, in which a front end actually use the. Uh, can you share your screen? Is it possible to share a screen? Yes, yes, yes. So that we can see? Yeah. Okay. I think my, 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 my PC is, is a little bit slow. So, so, so it's okay if there is anyone from that group who could share at the same time while Itani is speaking. That would be great. Yeah, Go on, Itani. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm I'm trying to to to, to share, but uh, okay. Let me see. Okay, now it it, it is coming. Right, we can see your screen. Ah, yeah, yeah. And so okay, let me see, 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 switch to the. Okay, so this is the. It's a bit slow. I'm sorry for that. No, it's okay. Wonderful. Yeah, so I uh, actually the, 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 this is a, a way back and uh I mean, uh, we, we are trying. To, I mean, to to 
I mean, you're connecting the uh, the, 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 the consumer, I mean, to, 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 to this web, web, web page, which will, I mean, will fetch the, the um, 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 Amharic uh, at tra transcription, and then will uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll allow a user to, 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 to record and then, and then, uh, uh, submit uh, in, i mean his or her, or her record recording so i'll just try to, to to refresh i think uh, uh it's, i think the, 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 the consumer is is, is, is not uh pick, 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 picking up the i mean the the the, the transcription maybe maybe it's, it's a bit uh, I, I don't know why but here, I mean, as, 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 as you can see, I, I can, I can re 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 record, record here. And then after fin finishing the, I mean, re 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 reading the, 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 the transcription that, the, 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 that is supposed to, I mean, to, to be show, 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 shown here, I can uh, stop re re recording. And then I, it, 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 it will give me an, an, an option to, 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 to play back what I have recorded. And if I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with, the, with what I mean uh, I've been re -re 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 recording, then I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll upload the, the file the, the file. And upon up, 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 uploading, I mean it it will take uh, uh, the, the, the the producer will 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 will, will take the the, 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 the the audio file and then it will upload it to the it will upload it to the i mean it, 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 it will take the the, the audio for for file and then to put it to the, the, the kafka and, and then upload it to the to the data lake actually i mean now I, I, I yesterday actually i was i, was, I mean we we, we we are trying to 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 to, 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 to run this uh application in 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 the in, in the aws but unfortunately uh yesterday we 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 are not able to to, to, to deploy it but but the, the other day, day is uh, actually it was uh we 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 were we 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 were able to 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 to, to, to access it when and, and, and it is it, 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 was, it was in in the aws because we we we, 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 we I mean, we 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 configured a, a port for 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 and then and and once you you are you are you are you are you are, you are logged in, I mean you can you can access the, I mean the the local host in 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 this five five uh thousand uh I mean for port, but unfortunately uh, yesterday. I mean, it 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 was it was not uh we, we were unable to 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 to, to, to connect it to, to it though the the, the 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 application in in, in the AWS was running and uh, we we used the dog 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 uh, plus other uh, means to keep in another services plus the, 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 the this web application and then we we we, we build the, the image and, and, and then we were able to, to, to run it in in the AWS but unfortunately yesterday we were unable to to, 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 to access it I mean in in, 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 in our local PC yeah, so I think that... <clears throat> okay, so that is really great. I'm very impressed. Um, so is this now running from AWS or from your local machine? It's, it's just for, for, for my, 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 my local machine. Yeah. That, that's why we've been doing I mean, the, 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 the transcription is, is not... Is not uh, come, 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 yes. come, 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 to care of that in case you are running it, you're not connected to Kafka, you are you have a default which is working great. This is a great demonstration. Everything working 
and wonderful. I, 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 I'm happy about how you handled errors in case some things don't work, right? So that's great. Now the next task is to just make sure that you run it and that it's connected and then you keep testing it and maybe also simulate um, for like kind of showing actually an actual text from your training before. And I love the design. It's great. It's very simple, very, very good. So well done, guys. Okay, perfect. Thank Anyone you. Anyone from that group want to add anything that's missing? Okay, if not, let's go to group two. But well done, just group one. Make sure to upload it, whatever, and dockerize it, and we will help you deploy it and um, actually get actual data okay. if this is our working. So, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay, thank Thanks. you. So, who is uh, the leader from group two? Okay, Deborah was the leader of group two, but I think the power went off. Okay, so, okay, then go on, Elias. Okay. So, like, uh, yesterday, we faced a challenge in, like, setting up, running the web, running the Docker on the AWS. Like, I think the problem is with Node. But, like, it works for me and also other group members tried it and it worked for them. But, like, when we try to run on AWS, like, it builds fine, but it doesn't run. So, we had decided to, like, recreate the server using Flask. So, we had implemented the server all over again in Flask. So, if I share my screen. Yeah. Okay, so now we have been able to, like, okay, heard. It's reading from, like, Kafka server on AWS. Like, the, the server is running on AWS, and, like, the front end is running on my laptop. So it's, it's communicating with the server and getting, like, the transcriptions by listening to a topic. So like this is for testing, like we didn't put the actual transcriptions yet. So it has been able to read from the topic and show the transcription then. Okay, I don't know why. Now it's recording. I don't know why it's slow. So they can play and when they say next, you can actually send the audio file to the backend. So like it actually works out here. Now it's actually sent. So like. For now, we are just putting it right here. But like now we are creating a topic that contains the metadata. So we will send the metadata and store the audio file in a bucket. So like at some time, we will be reading for the transcription from the topic consuming. And then like since there is a part of the audio file, we can actually access the audio file and do some transformation and store it on the final bucket and also other people are working on spark and uh, airflow but like since we have been able to, a little bit slow creating a new server we haven't been able to integrate that part right now but i think they can give an update on what's been done independently but we haven't integrated those Great, but can you, can you call someone who's working just to update if, if you know who's working? Okay. You can call some names that you that you know and then if they are there they will they will respond. I think Joseph uh, or oh, I think you is somewhere <laughs> in immigration. He told us he's not available today. Okay. Okay. So can we then schedule if so Kevin, are you here? 
Yeah. So can you please just get in touch with with uh, group two and ensure that they solve their problem and so that we can get an additional update later. Um, yeah, say, okay, sure. Yeah. Elias, okay. so, so just Elias, can make, you, yeah. Can you add me to your group? I'm to your group two group so that I can follow up with you guys. Okay. Yeah, you guys shouldn't, if it works uh, locally, it should work there and whatever it is, just uh, give it the, the challenge to Kevin and let him figure it out. At the same time, you guys develop the other part. And let's make sure that, you know, around five o'clock, six o'clock, five o'clock German time, you guys have something to just show it end to end. Okay, and let the other team members actually know as well. It's like, we want to, I want to see the demonstration working uh, all integrated. Great, okay. Thanks, Elias. And group three, who's the leader, if the leader is here, or a co-leader or representative? Hello. Hi, they tell him. So let me give it a general update about what we want to do, to do so far, and then my group members found the interesting and show what each particular member has done so far. Okay, so we basically started by dividing the tasks and uh, either three or typically they are assigned for a particular task. So that's how we started working on it. And uh, basically uh, what we have done is the user first can request the data and then it can send the data dictations using the application that's on the part and then uh, our Kafka cluster will be uh, responsible for handling and system system that will be transmitted from two sites in the system side to uh, the data processing and the third site. And as for me, I was uh, assigned to work on the part and the point different part so that I will use the long term. And then for the top company, basically that's going to be responsible for reading uh, the audio files and then assign uh, the team that permission and then after that uh, it's going to be audio. Your, your, your audio is very hard to hear. I'm not sure if I understand anything, uh, but I don't know if it's from you. Is it any better? Can you guys yes, hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was internet, but it's actually your mic. It's better. Yeah. Okay. So uh, apart from the transformation part, uh, me, Mikhail, and Lul was responsible for the validation part. So the approach that we have used for validating the audio files is we first try to use a model which we think will be uh, appropriate enough in order to validate, validate those audio files. And then we try to uh, give the audio files that was recorded by the user to, to the model and then get the transcription. And then we compared those, the transcription with the original text file and then uh, we set a threshold value and check the word error rate and if it is somehow at uh, a good way in which we can save the audio file, if we think it's appropriate, we will be saving it into uh, the process history bucket and then if it fails, we will just, uh, the audio gets omitted. So basically, we were able to integrate the front-end part with the Kafka and currently we have uh, done the Spark and the violation part, but it's not yet integrated with the entire system so that's basically what we'll be doing today for the rest of the day and then uh i think i have we have miki mikhail and nati here so they can share their screen and show you what each of them has so far great thank you so much very good update and um, so who wants to go from that team to show us screen share Okay, so I think Mil Milky should be a bit better uh, candidate for this. Since yesterday, uh, we were trying to work on integrating the front end with the back end. So if we set up everything right, uh, I could show you what we were working on. Milky, is he here? Can you share screen? Okay, so I think he's not here. So I will just show you the front end of it or yeah. with some fixes and we'll continue from that. Okay, so.
So the front end looks like this. Uh, it's basic, but uh, it does its job. So uh, the first thing is like we need to get the text. So there's a dedicated button for getting a new text every time. So when we click it, uh, okay. So I need to change the API real quick. Sorry. For the demo purpose only. Okay, so uh, okay, so I need to change up some things, but the idea is like uh, when you try to get text, it will go to the Kafka server, and Kafka will provide us with um, the data. So uh, this will be updated with the data that will be generated from the backend server. There were some buttons and everything, but uh, those functionalities were tied. Uh, yeah. But Milky is here if you want, and oh. he can present as well. Milky, okay. are you able to present your screen? And uh, I'm having internet issue, that's why I left. Uh, I, I, I'll try, wait. Okay. Up until... Up until... Maybe he is frozen, or is he trying to share? I think his connection got issues, and he's frozen. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's go to the next team, and then if Milky fixed his internet, then we'll we'll see. Okay. But so that means so if I understand correctly, then it is so you have even the validation working and the processing. The transformation also is, um, with Spark is working. It's just what you're going to do is going to be a lot more connections, all these tools, and um, deploy them. Yeah, that's is, what, is, what is the big thing missing? Okay, mainly that's the big idea. We need to connect them and everything. And uh, now we are working locally, so uh, we need to integrate them and uh, make sure it is deployed. Okay, so hopefully then you, I also want to see by five o'clock, you know, where you got. So make sure that you have also just, um, you know, try as much as possible for these things to be connected and an MVP is ready, just. So if there, some things are missing, it's okay, but just somehow end to end is working. And let's see some of the advantage because what my, I think our plan should be like, we take every good thing from every element and we should, we should at least a couple of one for Swahili, one for Amharic should be at the end deployed. Like it's not going to be just a project. It is going to be, we're going to fund it to, to run and collect data. So it's just, I want to see what is, how much you are you know, from each group, what are the key elements that are there and, and what's working. So yeah, just good that some groups have done well this, some groups have done well that, and so it can be fixed. I mean, it can be mixed, uh, some of the strings can be joined. Great. So Milky, if your internet is okay now, you can present, otherwise we can go to the next group and we will see later. Okay, let, let me try. Okay, try. Can you see my screen? Yeah. It's empty, Hello? but we can. It's empty, but we can. We can see. It's, it's frozen, man. So let's go to the next group. I think it's okay. 
Okay, so let's go to group four. Who's representing group four? Morning. Good morning. Morning. Uh, I think I, our leader is not here, so let me continue. Okay. Okay, I'll present my screen. see your screen yeah can you see my screen yes. yeah we do oh. I don't think it open. Okay. <coughs> so this is the interface so here the Paintings, the transcripts are being uh, loaded from the Kafka. So after clicking the recording here, then when we finish, uh, after pressing uh, the stop, we can hear it from here. Then we can delete it or upload it. So when we click upload, it will be sent back to the, our uh, Flask server. And here on the server, it will be stored as a web file. Then the next one will be here, uh, fetched from Kafka. Then if we even don't like this sentence, we can go just get a new text. Then an another one without skipping the recording part, that means we will get another uh, sentence. So uh, here we, on the back end, we where is it? Yeah, we are using uh, generators to normally get from the Kafka by yield. We haven't used the poll because we are we haven't finished it, but we are trying to make it so that when the when we reach the last message, so that it can loop back to the first one. So we are trying to do that. So that's why we use generators for this. And the other thing is that uh, here, uh, saving uh, the audio file directly might not be ideal because uh, when there are simultaneous requests coming, we will, I think we will overwrite because we are using the same name. It will be overwritten. But uh, okay, let me take this back. To, But if we try to read it uh, first here, we can have the we can have the bytes. I think there is there was an error. But it, normally, it would have printed uh, the bytes here. But the bytes are, they are not the raw audio data, they have the header and uh, other information. So the problem is that uh, after converting it to byte and sending it to Kafka, we were not able to decode it back to the WAV files. That's why we are for now saving it uh, here as a WAV file, but <clears throat> sending the byte will be ideal. Uh, and this is one of uh, this one. Is one I mean, <clears throat> you know that you can generate a name 
basically the file name from a timestamp, right? It's like from just whatever session. <clears throat> so yeah, that, yeah. Uh, in a session, like in a cache, just such that it can delete itself every every some hours at least. But yeah, but I definitely make sure that you saw, yeah, the whole point is sending it to, uh, it, it, it should in principle be able to send this thing and be decoded whatever format you use. But just file name clashes can be solved by simple cache or like basically the hour of the day class, blah, blah. Okay, I think, okay. We haven't think a lot about that. Okay, I think maybe using the timestamp and uh, yeah. removing it every maybe five, three or some minutes. Maybe I mean, if you just even, okay. just uh, if you don't use the date, but only just the time, then it, at least always it will overwrite every 24 hours. So it should be fine. Okay. Okay, we'll try to use that. And uh, for the web app, this is it. And uh, so what about the, the processing? So when you send it to Kafka, what happens? And how is it going to be dumped into the data lake as well as also um, the transformations for quality tests? Have you guys worked on it? Yeah, for the <coughs> airflow, uh, Amon was working on it. I think he had some updates if he is here. <coughs> I think he is here, Amon. And for the Spark, uh, your Salim is working on it. So we normally had uh, meetings after the stand up and ask me anything, but uh, due to the presentation, we weren't able to meet. So okay. yeah. maybe so stay I'm up here, they can show. Amon, can you update us? Yeah, hello. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, clearly. OK. Um, so I've been working on the airflow, and I had a challenge in having it running on the uh, on the on the browser but uh, figuring it out it's now working so the remaining thing is to complete the code that will trigger the spark and uh, channel the uh, the data from kafka to s3 bucket yeah right. so yeah so is it integrated uh, not yet. Okay. So, who else was there to update on the processing transformation or? Uh, Yerusalem. Uh, Yerusalem? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, she's probably not here. Okay. So, again, you know try to get just an MVP that shows end to end. And if you can't even just this thing is running in AWS, if not, it's OK. Um, it, is, it is normally I showed you from the AWS. OK, fantastic. Okay. Great, so then I think that part is done. So it's just what, what you need probably to add is the yeah, sending it from Kafka and that this thing is then in S3 in a correct way that you, you said you want, right? But right now, is it saving in S3 already? Um, not in S3, on uh, the server that's uh, in the... Okay, but it should just be simple, right? So it's kind of like, I think if you can hash the, the text that it's used to generate in the timestamp and use that as a file name, then it should be able, you should be able to, you should be able to basically solve everything. That means like, you can filter it by the hash as well. So like if you, if you produce two hashes, one is the text that it generates and the second is a timestamp. And then if you just concatenate them to create file name and then put it in, as in a, stru a structured way, you know, 
uh, in your S3, then it should just be able to be funny. But uh, think about it and solve it, that element, such that if there are like millions of that thing, that it should just be fine. I mean, that you don't lose data. And the transformation and uh, also think about, if you can, how to validate it and stuff like, um, or if you need to do the transformation, if someone kind of is loading, like kind of saying something, but it has a much, a huge empty space, maybe able to cut that such that you focus on the word, just some, some very rudimentary transformation uh, and validation, if you can again, because you already solved the many elements. So until five o'clock, you hopefully will be able to, to see. But if not, make sure that the end end works and it's the MVP is out. Okay. Great. So this is group four, right? Yes. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, group five. Who's the leader? If the leader is not here, who's the representative? Same? Um, I don't think the leader is here or Go the representative, so I will give the update. Um, let me... If you can share your screen, that would be also great. Okay. Um, so the, this is the basic front end. Um, so the text is being loaded from the Kafka service that's running on the AWS. We've already dockerized this and it's already running on the AWS instance, I think. Yes. And it's been, and I'm accessing it here locally. You can just record audio and player or download options, and then submit. Should like give it a moment. I've been having a, some problems with uh, latency, but I don't know if it's from the Kafka brokers being overloaded or from my own uh, internet. We can check the, if the guys sent it to the topic, to this consumer. Um, currently, we have, we don't have the, the part that reads from the S3 bucket and publishes to the topic connected to the web service. So it's just, we're just producing through a script here. And this is the audio. By form, I can't, I wish I could show it off. Oh, I could. Um, yeah, so the service is working, but there are still a few bugs left. In, the service sometimes when the when there is no text generated it can fail. So we're going to fix that as well. I think for the processing and the um, transformation, some of my other teammates can probably talk about it. Jakinda or half. Tom. Great, yeah. Jakinda, so have Tom. Hi. No. Hi. Uh, so, uh, we. If you if you speak slightly louder, that would be great. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, the task uh, I was tasked with uh, making the Kafka connection also the producer consumer, and. Uh, we, we we have uh, Bliss was able to make uh, the what's this? Uh, 
a way to stream uh, text from the S3 bucket to a Kafka topic. But uh, the issue, uh, the blocker that you were facing was uh, from the consumer, sorry, uh, the, the blocker we were facing was uh, getting the data from the consumer to, to actually, what's this, to the S3 bucket, because earlier we were only reading a file, we were producing and consuming it into a, a folder that we had locally. So I think if we figure that out, then we were supposed after storing it, we were to make a, a DAG file that uh, gets the stored audios and then pre-processes them and sends them into another folder uh, concurrently. So, yeah. But uh, Kevin said that we can save the audios into uh, a folder that uh, he was supposed to send the link. Yeah, so if, if, if yeah, if, if saving to S3, you have issue, connect to Kevin, and I think there should just be like a simple bottle for that will just save it. It's like um, phase three just pass. Yeah. So yeah. if we are, we were thinking of using bottle three. Yeah. So it's just it's simple. It's like it's just or you can mount even. Um, I think we have probably mounted for you already, of like an MNT in in MNT, I think ten AC something um, folder that is actually. S3. So there, like it's similar. You could, if you save it there, it's basically it's. If you can save it locally, then basically that's the same as saving um, to S3 because you can always mount. So and then you can act. Everything that works should work. If you can save it to a local folder, then there shouldn't be a problem in saving it to S3 because you can just mount it. You can mount S3 uh, buckets. Okay, great. Half Tom, um, in which area like is that? And do you want to tell us a bit? I know that you have you have had issues with uh, uh, Arrow, so Airflow. But do you have any update? I'm not sure if you can hear me. It is uh, raining. Yeah? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We are trying to import uh, from from the script folder to the Sour Dog script. Yeah. So yeah, I added the file, the script file to the to the script, but uh, it works it works fine here. But uh, we are getting the this error. Can you see? We are getting this year when we try to yeah. on the UI. Yeah, so what is the producer audio? Where is it? Producer radio, the module. The module is in the script folder. Uh, but it's probably it's importing, right? So maybe can you make that one as uh, um, if there is a, a dash dash init file? Then you convert it into into the whole folder. You can convert it into a module, such that now the way that you are saying is that from consumer audio, um, from consumer radio import consumer radio, I and mean, it's fine. I mean, it should. It's maybe. I'm not sure. I tried uh, in the notebook. It works uh, fine, but. Yeah, but yeah, but it, but it's the, the issue is exactly that pass. So maybe that try to fix it by using by by seeing why why that is the case. It's just maybe that the the those those scripts may not be like I don't know when it's running. So when it's running, maybe it has a different pass. So by by printing by printing the the current directory before you import. You may be, you may be, you could debug it because sometimes the context changes. So the context where where the folder is, and then 
it might not find the dot dot script or it might not add the pass, something like that. So debug it by printing. But if you solve that one, what happens? Because it seems a very small, minor issue. Hopefully you'll solve it. What happens then? I can't hear you if you're speaking. Abdom, we can't hear you if you're speaking. Okay. <clears throat> so, in general, my uh, again, my comment will be the same. Try to fix these bugs. In, you know, you are you are supposed to take, give us like whatever you can, whatever state it is, but a working version. Um, so, try to prepare also to connect whatever is possible. Get get some workaround for things that are bugs and stuff, and in such a way that. Like, you know, later you should be able to just demo your stuff, like whatever you produced as a team, demo it, even if it has some things not working, but you handle it in such a way that the end to end at least works and you focus where your strength is. So again, this is for everyone. You should be able to focus on where your strength is, like where is reliably or comfortable in such a way that you can say like, okay, this part is really working well and we've tested it and it's great. So just get that one and then the parts that are not strong, we will try to find other others who are strong in that area. So identify yourself where it's reliable, scalable and uh, strong component of your, your pipeline. Okay, so the last group, group six. Yes, hi. Um, so on our side, let me share my screen. Um, we, uh, as Azaria was saying on the stand-up, we kind of faced uh, this problem on ident trying to identify the the text ID. Other than that, I think everything is working except uh, making it uh, integrated. This is our uh, the front-end app which is used with the flask and then here um, so here we can record and then when we stop we should be able to upload here and then this is on my aws so here <coughs> the the text will be consumed from kafka here so uh, the one thing we're uh, working on is identifying each, te each text by ID. So like we can trigger everyone, every text by some specific ID. And then on the um, on the airflow, we, uh, we've been able to work on two, three DAG, uh, three DAG files. And then on the audio file. Um, so we tried, uh, I think Azaria will present on that and then also for the Spark, we have uh, Fumbani and Mukuzi to present. Thank you. Okay. Very good update. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. Hi. Uh, um. So is my screen up? Yes, it is. Okay, um, so uh, on the AWS, uh, what we have been working on is tr to try to containerize each of the individual components, uh, the ML flow, uh, the Airflow, uh, the Postgres, and our Flask application. Uh, so we have it all up and running on, uh, on AWS. Um, on Airflow integration, um, we have the first DAG, um, which I believe uh, writes to the Kafka cluster um, periodically over, this is selected over 10 minutes. Um, one part that we were working on was to set some specific time where we uh, get all the data that has been collected and retrain the model. Uh, we've been able to uh, train our initial model on Airflow uh, 
the model on uh, that we actually used on uh, on week four and five. Uh, I'm not sure if we will get if we'll be able to complete this. That there might be other tasks to prioritize, um, but that that's uh, that's one part of the one component of our system. Uh, I think I can pass it on to from Wonderful, great. I think that's good progress in that that you could actually continuously update your model. Okay. So from the group I was tasked with, uh, let me share my screen. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, so from the group, if like we look at the architecture, uh, this is architecture. So from the group, the task that I was given is I had to set up the S3 bucket here. So I did that, and after I completed that, I also, because that other task were already taken, all these other tasks were already taken, so I started working on the documentation for the for the project. So I wrote the, the readme is almost, cool. I think the readme is okay, but uh, what, what's remaining now is the documentation for the code. So that's that's what I was working on. And I was trying to set up a uh, doc on the on the server at the BS and they were giving me like it, it was giving me some errors. So I talked to Kelvin and uh, he's working on it. So I think hopefully when he's done, I will be able to to set up the P doc on the AWS. On my local machine it was working, but then on AWS it was giving me an error. So I'm waiting for him to to finish with to finish like uh with more there and then i think every everything should be okay and then i might actually continue with the documentation for the code i think that's it for me and i think the one who had the uh, working on spark so i think i will let him present yeah. on spark but i'm and I'm, I'm just i want to point out that's really a great team again in the sense that you are thinking as well about the documentation seriously that is a very good um component I'm sure others may probably are thinking, great, but even in the presentation, giving it this focus, that's great, so. All right, thank you. Hello, I'm not able to share my screen, but for the, the can, can someone help him share? Is already, is it already, can other groups could share or is it just only in your? The yeah, yeah, can share the documentation. You can just use that. All right. Let me share my screen. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Just talk about the architecture. So yeah. we, we are we are able to we are able to spend to send data from the S3 bucket to the Kafka cluster. And we've also built the DAG for that. So we're supposed to to send data to send random data every few minutes. So on, on the reverse side, reading the audio, you're able to read the audio and uh, convert it into a web file. But we want to be using Spark, so you're doing is it, it using uh, another library. But we are thinking of uh, on the reverse side, since you're not able to use, to save the web file directly, we're using we're thinking of using uh, saving the data as an MPI array with the uh, in a sort of um, the data is already processed, so we save it as a convert it into a NumPy array and then save it into a CSV so that it's uh, it's already ready for for the model. So we'll have the work file in the already processed data. Okay, so normally it is encouraged to to keep as much of the raw as possible for future processing. 
because your pre-processing might be okay now, but might be another good pre-processing that one can do later. So in the data lake, definitely create multiple maybe uh, buckets. One is where it's called, you know, in the data lake has multiple zones. So the row zone is basically where you dump the row and then you can have like a, a, a pre-processed zone or some, some gray zone where you can actually do, and that zone can be updated anytime by pre-processing the row zone. So it would be great. And then, yeah, I think at least the, this looks great. So what, do you, what are you doing in Spark? For Spark, we're using it to process the, the text data. Okay, no, but in the, in the backward sense, like so in the forward sense, that's true, that's great. But in the forward sense, in the backward sense, we want to we want to add the uh, attributes for the audio in Spark. Okay, but is it already done? What I'm uh, what I mean, my question. Yeah, is it already yeah. are you guys already doing some analysis, some transformation? Yeah, what's done is uh, saving the data as a word file. So the model can already use that. Okay. Yeah. Great. So. So what is missing, like from from here now? Like, so I see the different elements. So is it done? Is it complete? Again, now Beza Vitala, I'm just asking as a group leader. Yeah. So what is what is missing? So uh, I think most of it's almost done. Uh, integration and also we're trying to figure out that to identify each text study as an uh, so we can identify. Other than that, I think most things is okay. done. Yeah. So then you could work until then also in, in simple transformation where like checking, yeah. like the validation maybe, and given that you're also direct retraining, um, so that would be great if that is also complete because that seems to be the unique art as well there. Okay. So maybe later when you present just as a complete MVP, maybe just some of the parts that are completed, if they just demoed, um, yeah. That would be great, yeah. and especially not just on one text, but if you could just have a simulation that basically says like, okay, if I have like, um, like not me reading, but if yeah, okay, so whichever, it's like you could be reading a proper text, and then you would see it um, uploaded, and then you can from S3 can play it in your Jupyter notebook to say like, yeah, that's exactly what we got. Yeah, some okay. kind of validation. Okay, we'll try. And that. if it is, for example, as like if, for example, you read something else, if you could run a model on it, and yeah, some form of validation and says like, okay, the two, the text and the thing are not related, and we catch that, for example, it could be. So if you because you you're already there, you can do that probably with just a bit more work. Yeah. Okay. Great. Wonderful. I, I must say that I'm really impressed by each group and there's a lot of work done and I think you are dealing with real systems and you know yourself, I don't have to tell you that you are one step away from actually implementing it and I want you to think about the limitations, the assumptions, the pl places where you need to improve for yourself when you present later you should just have that things in mind. So uh, not only just that you manage, but also you know where where is the issue when you, if you want to scale it. Is it just a computation? You know, what needs to be done to make it like really reliable, deployable uh, in the world, in the wild? So just think about it, discuss about it. But overall, this is great. I'm impressed. Thanks, everyone.